Taurus, this is your weekly reading. This is for the sign of Taurus. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Taurus placement that you may resonate with. Some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information linked and listed in the description box. We will pull oracles at the end, give you some more guidance for the week. Jumping right in, Taurus. First card out this week is the Judgment card, Major Arcana. We also have the Eight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. So some sort of decisions being made here or have recently been made, about to be made. Time is elusive. We are all on different timelines, but definitely movement. Definitely movement here. With the Eight of Wands, you're either physically actually moving, traveling, or some sort of um, action to communicate after some sort of decision has been made here. It does look like it's going to have you in a, in a decision-making position. Whoever it is that is making this final decision, though, looks like they were taking a while to make it. With the Four of Pentacles and the Judgment, definitely someone was holding back or trying to maybe... um. What's the word? Not prevent, but uh, procrastinate, dry, like, you know, give themselves time, stall. You could have also made a decision because this person was not making a decision. Could be with work. I do have pentacles here. Could be a friendship. Will be different for all of you, but someone might have not been making a decision. So it looks like you made a decision for them or for yourself. Okay. Three of swords, three of cups, the page of pentacles and the six of swords. All right, bottom of the deck is the six of wands, two sixes, two threes. Could be seeing those as synchronicities. But I do get you sort of making a decision here. You're no longer doing the limbo thing. You're no longer doing am I, am I not. You could have been the one that took a long time to make a decision. But I do think initially here you were maybe waiting for someone else to sort of take the lead, make a decision, let you know or do something. Could be a job heavy for some of you with this pentacle energy. Maybe you've asked for a raise and, you know, they take too long to get back to you. So you're like, you know what? That's cool. Or by the time that they make a decision, you've already made a decision. Because the Queen of Swords is very logical thinking. And you could see her back is very much turned to this Four of Pentacles. Like, okay, cool. Bye. See ya. Have a good one. If you know, you know. It does look like you've uh, exited taking yourself out of the race or, you know, out of out of the league, out of whatever group of this options or, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. But looks like someone is um, going to be hurt. Well, obviously, they didn't. maybe they didn't think that you would make the decision. Maybe they thought you would just kind of wait for them to make a decision. Because I'm also seeing Six of Pentacles with this, too. Could be dealing with someone that had a lot going on. Juggling multiple things in whatever capacity. Could be with work. Someone that was maybe a workaholic. Or work was the priority. So you're like, okay, well, I, I'm not just going to sit here. I'm standing here in one spot. So decision made, whether you made it or not, the decision has been made. I'm moving forward. looks like you might have communicated this to this person. But it looks like they're also not making a decision. Because with the Three of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords, it looks like this person wants a new start, wants to, wants to try again or another chance. They want to move forward. With the Six of Swords, this is moving from very um, rocky, unstable, uncertain time, time back to this Two of Pentacles. They want to move away from that. They want to overcome whatever sort of um, difficulty was there before. Maybe that was stopping this from moving forward. They want to reunite. They want to get back on in. Uh, they want to get back into a good vibration with you. Two of Swords, yeah, lots of twos and threes and sixes. Two twos, two threes, two sixes. And those are all, um, no, they're not. I'm lying. Yeah, definitely someone didn't want to make a decision. It was um, stalling, avoiding, avoiding making a decision here, ignoring their intuition. Because it's like they already, they already know which way they had to go. But maybe they weren't willing to do the work that required that would come after that once the decision has been made, right? But time waits for no man is very much the vibe I'm getting here. Time waits for no man. So why would you? You've released it. It became too much. You know? So you made a decision, yeah, to move forward, to free yourself from whatever this burden was. It just became heavy. No one's making a decision. No one's saying nothing. No one's doing nothing. I'm out. Pretty much, very much the queen of swords. I'm out. Thanks. See ya ending death but you know endings are just beginnings it's just whoever whoever didn't want to make a decision is now stressed because you made your own decision for yourself 
Okay, I do get you are coming up as a Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius can have that in your chart, but I just think you're using your logical mind. You're no longer thinking with your with your heart if you were at one point. This Three of Swords, though, I don't think it belongs to you. Could also just be saying that even though it hurts you to make this decision, you're good. You're cool. You'll you'll be hurt later. You'll you'll get over it. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Could be a trip coming up too because of the Eight of Swords here. Eight of Wands, Six of Swords. Very much could be someone could be asking you to take a little getaway. You deserve love. Yep. I think you already know that. You know that. Some of you could be a family member with the healing family issues here. Definitely could be a family family member that um you know you kind of just had to leave alone. It's too much, it's stressing you out. But it looks like now that they've had some sort of time, parrot spirit, watch your words. <laughs> be for spirit, Leah. Solid foundation number six, another six. So definitely could be some sort of family energy, someone that is already that is very close to you. And the Queen of Swords, although she's made a decision, she's, she's still open to discussion. You know, she might have, you might have separated, but still open to discussion. Looks like there will be a discussion. Eight of Wands. Okay. Let's see what else we got going on. Take this one. Paris. But somebody does definitely wants to move past whatever misunderstanding or or whatever happened between the two of you that caused you to take your space commitment. Things are getting serious and guardian. A lost loved one watches over you. So this is someone you're already married to for some of you, or this is someone that's going to maybe. Um, proposed commitment that could have definitely been one they weren't making the decision about the six of wands is definitely like um, reception energy or like making something public making something known or a new romantic cycle begins libra energy mm -hmm. heavy emphasis on air sign and surrender to the divine exactly someone's ready to surrender because they know time waits for no man and you ain't gonna wait on them or vice versa because this could be you that didn't want to make a decision about somebody or something or a job and now that they're like okay well since you don't want uh, no answer is an answer queen of swords whoever the queen of swords is saying no answer is an answer i'll take that as an answer deep replenishment retreat rest be held heavy emphasis on self-care there Please for Taurus. Judgment is also something that is perceived as over coming back from the past. So for a lot of you, this is something you've already made a decision on. And the reason you made the decision that you made is because they weren't making a decision. So you made it for them. I know it's not easy, but you were not built to break. And it's funny, we have two wolves here of different um, polarities, the dark and the light. Change is good. Embrace that shit. So I think this is for whoever was uh, procrastinating on the decision or going back and forth with the decision or putting off making a decision. They're really uh, this is really forcing them to to level up. To, to, to grow a backbone. Also could be someone that needs to be more generous with their time and energy. They need to reprioritize four of pentacles, two of pentacles, six of pentacles. They need to reprioritize some things. Lots of sixes here. Is that everything? Yeah, I think that's it. That is your reading, Taurus. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.